Okay, perfect. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this afternoon. We have an incredible uh, panel today, uh, starting with uh, Sister Sherry uh, Muhammad, the uh, founder and director of Asiatic Minds, an amazing school, with some of her amazing students here to join us um, to get ready to start off this, ne this new semester. First of all, Assalamu alaikum, family. Well, alaikum, alaikum salam, sir. Wonderful. This means so much that you all would take time out of your busy schedule to come on the People's Podcast. Um, the first, the first uh, thing I want to say is we're going to let Sister Sherry introduce everyone and then we'll get started. All praises due to Allah. First, I want to say thank you so much, Brother Joshua, for having um, myself and some of the Asiatic Minds students on your show. Um, we have Brother Zaire. Um, and you all have to say your grades. Everybody just moved up. So um, Brother Zaire Muhammad um, is a current Asiatic Mind student. And um, what grade are you in now, Brother Zaire? Oh, about to be in sixth. Yay, going up in the middle school. <laughs> and then we have Sister Mayala, um, who is an Asiatic Mind student. And what grade are you going into, Sister Mayala? Six. Into the sixth grade. Yes. And then we have Brother Khalid Muhammad. Brother Khalid, um, what grade are you going into? Going into the eighth. Excellent. And so um, the, those are the students who have agreed to join us this evening, Brother Joshua. Thank you so much for having us. All praises due to like, Yes, ma'am. The honor is mine. And it's so good to see the faces of people, of students that I had the honor of getting to teach um, some of the classes with. Uh, for you, Sister Sherry, what would you like to let people who are watching know is the main ingredient to the success of Asiatic Minds? Wow. wow. I think the main ingredient um, that gives our school success is the love that everyone involved brings with them. I uh, all of the instructors um, come to the table understanding what we are striving to do. So as an old world is going out and along with its educational system, then we have to be busy doing the work of lifting up a new, a new educational paradigm, a new educational system, and, uh, and so when everyone comes to the table, they understand fully who they are dealing with. Um, we know the knowledge of self and we know the young people sitting in front of us are nothing to be played with, that they're little gods. And so, and, and we have a love that uh, we want to do the best that we can to project them further they're about our people lifting us and, and taking us where we need to be as a people. So I think that love is that main ingredient. Beautiful. All praise to Allah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're going to start with the, the brother. Then we're going to come back, uh, back to you, Sister Mayala. We're going to start with you, Brother Khaled. Uh, what are you looking forward to uh, next semester? Next semester? What I'm looking forward to is to have some fun maybe have some new classes. I'm just excited for what's going forward. Oh, praise so, uh, yes, sir. Right, Kyle, you're an amazing student, sir. Uh, all right. Um, people showing you love all across the country. Thank you, Brother Marshall. Well, Alaikum Salam, sir. And fam, I can't wait to put this on YouTube as well. All right, we're going with you, Sister Mayala. What are you looking forward to next semester, ma'am? Um, next semester, I'm looking forward to having more fun and hopefully more classes and clubs, but I'm mostly looking forward to having more fun like I did this year. Excellent, okay, great, praise be to Allah. Now, Brother Kyla, what is your favorite class, sir? My favorite class is chess class. Okay, so you like playing chess? Yes. Yes, sir, I'm a, I'm a fellow. So that's good. What is it about chess that you enjoy so much? What I enjoy about chess is the competition and the fun of learning it. 
And I love how in chess, how a certain piece has its own value. And you can make a piece have so much high value when you put in a certain move on the on the board. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of chess, so it helps me relax, and um, it has plenty of benefits in, in the future of your life with teaching you uh, principles that, that are practical that you can apply with your life. Okay, I saw another brother pop up, but then he went away. Is he still there? Okay, there he is, Brother Zaire. Uh, what are you looking forward to next semester, sir? Uh, well, I'm basically looking forward to next semester is basically like a like new classes lots of fun stuff and yeah i'm just really excited to go back to school okay great yes sir what is your favorite class sir my favorite class is oh man it's photography class mm, mm. that's my favorite class out of all classes Yes, sir. Why photography? Well, I like photography because you get to like every time when you get to take a every time when you're taking a picture, you learn new things and you like learn how to do shadow photography and all that other photography stuff. And so mm -hmm. like it's really fun to do photography and you could uh, and it's art actually by doing photography. That is correct. Yes, sir. So we look forward to uh, uh, next semester for all of the students. And I look forward to hearing about uh, more from your photography class. Now, Sister Mayala, um, what is your favorite class, ma'am? My favorite class is photography. OK. Um, I like photography because I like taking pictures. I like. I like how I can change the color of different things. I just like art, photo art. Wonderful, yes ma'am. So we are photography class, chess class. This is very important to see the, the next generation um, taking these classes very seriously and, and pushing the envelope uh, for the creatives and the art and culture world as well. Yes ma'am, Sister Sherry, what are you looking forward next to, I mean, forward the most next semester? Wow. So next school year, I absolutely um, look forward to a larger student body, mm. um, more teachers. We are actually going to be introducing an agriculture class um, as agriculture is going to be, we know it's the engine of our nation. And so um, this upcoming school year, we have incorporated it into our curriculum. Mm. And so um, that piece of agriculture will be weaved throughout every other class. Um, so the classes will all be kind of, um, uh, for lack of a better example, like a, a blob. So you you don't have these little islands where you go to math island and you go to language arts island, you know, but all of them just kind of begin to fold in because we um, as a team are all centering it around agriculture. So that doesn't mean that every book and every example is going to be agriculture, but it will be sprinkled throughout so that it will be um, more connected uh, this school year. And so um, in addition to it being weaved throughout the classes, they will be having an agriculture class you know, on Fridays. And I cannot wait um to see what our young you know scientists and gods in the making will do with this information in this new curriculum excellent and we look forward to it as well ma'am where can the parents uh sign up for asiatic minds oh feel free to go to our website asiaticminds.com that's asiaticminds.com and um, there's a ton of information on there. You can go on there. You could click on the admissions tab and reserve your seat for our next open house, which is August the 9th. And you can also go on there and just register for the school right away. Mm. Um, on that same admissions tab, you could click register to register for the school. Um, and also see like tuition prices and all of that before. When you click register, you're not just automatically registered. You got to click the register button 
you'll see tuition prices and you can um, uh, see all the different options. But then also under that admissions tab, you can also click reserve your seat for the next open house. Okay, great. Yes, ma'am. And I have just a few more questions for all of the students. Uh, my sister Miriam sends a greeting. Sister Naima says, I'm some Lakin family. And thank you, everybody who is watching. We have a quick 60 second commercial break for all of the sponsors of the People's Podcast this month. And then we're going to come back. And everybody in the comments who has anything to say or ask of Sister uh, Sherry Muhammad and or of the students, please let us know your comments because we want to um, get to them. It's amazing to have been had the honor of working with these students and to see their growth. And just to see, it's just a different world when, when you're taught and trained and knowledge yourself and it's applied in that way. Street Premier Media Production, if you'd like to be a sponsor, please catch up the People's Podcast. My brother, he has a 4K camera and a drone. He does television and film editing. My sister Miriam, ABC I Love Me Children's Book, and now Spanish Book and Coloring Book, all three available on Amazon.com. Please go get that. My sister Naima, Stay On Point Dance Academy, LLC. She teaches ballet virtually to young girls all across the country and right here in the studio in Atlanta, Georgia. We love our tiny dancers. If you're working on a book and you need copy editing, project management, content development, or media relations, please reach out to Rock Communications. Also, student minister Robert L. Muhammad, conflict mediation, squashing the beef throughout the community. He's in the Southwest region. He does a phenomenal job. His wife is the foodie of Muhammad, children of the most high, giving birth to a guy in the science of child rearing. Please get Sister Foodie of Muhammad's book, also, Fashion Guides, Urban Streetwear for Men and Boys, 314-329-6009. He'll keep you dripping, dripping in the best of fashion. Uh, Brother Kenneth, bow tie maker extraordinaire. He'll ship bow ties to you anywhere in, in the nation. Asiatic Minds, we're right here, and we're going to look into their commercial and, and just get to understand how important this school is um, globally, um, the STEM, AsiaticMinds.com. Also, from uh, Taj Hollywood, he's working on a new series. Chemistry 6 episode. It's a phenomenal television series. Please make sure you support it. Keep it hood, helping others overcome depression, mental health in our communities. Dr. Henry M. Carter, King Henry's Turkey Legs right here in Atlanta, Georgia. COVID-19 disinfecting cleaning services. From Brother Rashad out of Chicago. My father's book, A Soldier in the Movement of Christ, abdusharif.com. And last but not least, my two books, Cleopatra, which is a children's book, and No Father, No Excuse. Right back to Sister Sherry Muhammad and the amazing students of Asiatic minds, Asiatic minds. All right, we want to come to you, uh, Brother Khaled. Yes, sir. Who who is your best friend and why, sir? So, like my best best friend. Yeah, your your best classmate and why? Well, that, his name is Brother Nicholas, and okay. he is my best friend because he helps me out with anything. We help each other, and best friends help each other. We we help each other do our homework. Whatever is going on, we support each other, and that's what makes us best friends. Excellent. I'm familiar with Brother Nicholas. He's a, he's a uh, very energetic personality, very intelligent young man, and was always and it was always funny. I like I like his sense. I enjoyed his sense of humor. Yes, ma'am. All right, for sister you, sister Mayala, uh, who's your best friend, your best classmate, and why? Okay, we just waiting on her to do it. Boom. Um, okay, this is someone speaking Spanish. Angle. La Cata. Can you explain La Cata options? Okay. Um, I would say Sister Vinay. Okay. She would help me out if I needed help with something. I would either call her for help or ask her a question, she would help me out with things. Um, me and her, we were just friends. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. All right, we have one more question for you. I'll come back to you. Brother Zaire, who's your best friend and why, sir? Uh, my best friend is Sister Mayala, because she's like... Okay. The She's the best of friends that I've ever had. And she's like, man, whenever I didn't understand something, she would be there to like help me and stuff. So like, I I like Sister Mayala as my friend is best because she's, she's a really, she's my best, best friend. 
Excellent. I'm going to praise you to a lot. Yes, sir. All right, Sister Sherry, what is what is the major benefit of going to school virtually uh, during the time of monkeypox and so much going on outside? What's the major benefit of going to school virtually? Well, <laughs> the children may not agree with this, but you don't miss days. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You know, um, you, you get to stay safe. You're in your own environment at home, um, but you still get to see your friends. You still get to participate online. And so uh, with everything that's going on right now, there is nothing more important than being healthy. You mm. know, um, a lot of times we don't appreciate our health until we don't have it. And then we really realize how awesome it is to not feel aches and pains and feeling sick and, you know, having to go through um, so many things. And so at this time, you know, when COVID hit, it, it, it totally turned the world around to let us see that everything doesn't have to be in person. Mm. The world can still move forward and we can use these mediums that we have um, for more than just fun and games, but we can also use them for business, for school, you know, education and different things that we need to um, continue in, uh, that even though we may not be face to face. And one thing that I think is so awesome about um, being online is that all three of the students that you're looking at are not in the same state. Mm. And so um, they can still receive a high quality education um, that is Islamically based and be anywhere, not just in the United States, but literally in the world is all you have to have is a, a computer and your Wi-Fi or your you know connection and be able to get on and you could still attend school and you could have classmates that um, span across the country and world. Beautiful, all oh, praise to Allah, yes ma'am. All right, Brother Khaled, for your last um, question for you before we uh, get ready to end the, the meeting, uh, the interview, I saw online that you already having an uh, Ajax Minds like a banquet, everybody was getting awards. Um, what what was it like to end, you know, to wrap up the year on a positive notes where everybody was getting awards and things like that? So, uh, you know, it was really good. The getting awards part, it was really fun. Everybody was there. Well, not everybody in the school, but it was most of everybody. So it was still fun. We had a party. Food was good. Water, you know. And the award ceremony, it, it was just so hype. And it was just so fun to watch. Excellent. And yes, me coming up on stage. It was pretty cool too. I'm praise due to a lot. Yes, sir. All right, Sister Mayala, what was it like um, ending the year up with a positive note with having an award ceremony? What was that like for you, ma'am? Um, I didn't go to the ceremony. Okay. But it it just made me feel great of how um hold on. It just made me feel great that I ended out the school year with positivity and just happy. Great, excellent. Thank you, Brother Khaled, and thank you, Sister Mayala. And for you, Brother Zaire, what was it like to end off the uh, in the school year in a positive note with having a uh, banquet and appreciation dinner? Uh, I wasn't really at the ceremony either, but I, I've been telling my auntie and my grandma that I've been missing school so bad. I've like been wanting to come back to school. So like, mm. I've been missing it a lot. So, but I enjoyed school. I really enjoyed school. Awesome. And, and, I, and I pray that uh, God never lets you lose that drive and enthusiasm for, for education and for, and for school um, as you, matriculating to college in higher education. All right, Sister Sherry, can you uh, close it out with us, just letting us know once again, the value and the importance of Asiatic Minds to people who are watching? Yes, sir, absolutely. And I, I wanna say too, once again, 
thank you so much, Brother Joshua. And the children, they absolutely enjoyed your energy. Um, when you had the opportunity to teach um, at Asiatic Minds, they adored you, okay? And so um, the door is always open, you know, to you. Should you want to come back and do a workshop, acting workshop or what have you, you know, we have those, those things available. And so um, I do want to share that uh, Asiatic Minds, we are definitely more than just a standard curriculum school, that we have Islamic studies in addition to our math and science and our, our social studies is phenomenal because we have a curriculum writer and um, booklets that are specifically created for the school that's based in the teachings. Mm -hmm. um, we also have workshops. We have a From the Heart guest speaker series where we bring in guest speakers monthly um, for our students to enjoy. And then we also have uh, workshops that um, enrichment workshops. So last year we had two phenomenal enrichment workshops, one being BAM, Black Architects in the Making. It's a group of Black architects techs based out of Miami, Florida. And they come into schools and they expose children to architecture because I believe they said only about 2% of architects are um, Black architects. So they, mm. they felt that it was their need that they go around and expose students um, to architecture and with the hopes of creating some interest in that field. And then we also had um, one of our parents who is a cinematographer. He did an enrichment workshop for the school. Mm -hmm. um, so the students were able to engage and then walk away with their own little film short. And that was pretty awesome. And so um, we're lo totally looking forward to uh, more enrichment workshops. And then as Sister Mayala mentioned earlier, we have after school clubs. So we had Spelling Bee Club. We mm. had a, a phenomenal cooking club. Like they cooked up everything. Um, <laughs> they really did. They made homemade ice cream, homemade pasta. Um, you know, they just made all these things from scratch. Um, and then we, I know we also had a sports club. And so we're looking for some of those clubs to return. Um, and then the, as you mentioned, Brother Joshua, the end of the school year celebration was, it was amazing. It was a two day celebration um, that the first night we had a banquet and we did the awards and promotion ceremony. And then the next day we um, were on Brother Shahida, Sister Shahida's farm, Aljana mm -hmm. farm. Mm -hmm. And that was awesome. They um, ran an obstacle, uh, obstacle course. They did some um, STEM projects where they actually built forts in the woods mm. with only what they what they could find in the woods. Mm. And you would have been amazed to see what our students have put together, you know, as a fort. So um, it was just, it was wonderful. We had music and dancing and just, you know, taking pictures and just really, uh, it was beautiful to see the students finally get to interact with each other in person as opposed to, you know, they were online all year, but actually being in person like that was excellent. So we do, we look forward to another amazing school year. And then um, we'll have, an, uh, God willing, another in-person end of the school year celebration. So thank you so much for giving us this time to just talk about um, what we do in the Asiatic Minds. Oh, praise the due to Allah. I'm very impressed with the course you used to share the entire staff and faculty, but most important, and all the parents. But most importantly, the students, every time I see you all, it gives me hope. It reminds me why I'm, I'm going to continue just teaching and focusing on young people. Um, you all are the future. I thank a lot for you all, Brother Zaire, Brother Khaled, Sister Mayala, and your parents, all your Every student, I still remember the cash, everybody. I just remember so many people. <laughs> and uh, thank you all very much. And thank you again to Sherry. Um, may Allah continue to bless you all. So Sherry, one more time, how can people reach out to you? Absolutely. That is asiaticminds.com. 
asiaticminds.com. Listen for our commercial on the Final Call Radio, on the People's Podcast, and you know, um, different things on social media. And I would be remiss in my duty if I did not thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for his sacrifice, he and his family sacrificed because had he not um, sacrificed to bring this teachings to us, there would absolutely be no Asiatic minds. I wouldn't know who I am in order t- for this to have even come about. So all praise is due to Allah for the uh, Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and his family and their sacrifices. Absolutely. Thank you all very much. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. May Allah bless you all to have a great and productive day and rest of your week. Assalamu alaikum. Well, like them still on, sir. <laughs>